So the pod suckers, everyone knows veggie bug. The next one here is equally as damaging, but it belongs to a class of insects called the umbugs. You know, what is that? Um, uh, uh. Fewer than 10% of consultants knew what that thing was. So it's one of the umbugs. But very common, flies away rapidly. And there's two ones, the large and the small one. It probably doesn't matter which is which, they're both equally damaging. Uh, Red-banded shield bug, that's a problematic pest because the dasis does not control it. The zilch. So the only way we can get control is if we add a little bit of salt, 0.5% salt, and we get about 50-60% control. But a problematic pest. And brown shield bug, uh, that's important in the south because it does look like some of the predatory bugs. So it is important to know. Veggie bugs, um, distinctive shield shape, I think about 15, 18 mils in, so in length. Um, the egg rafts there are very distinctive, so they're laid in a large cluster all together. We call it, if they all touch, that's called a raft. Uh, clear, initially when they're about to hatch, they go that lovely orange colour. The hatching nymphs there. And so you go through a number of stages and they can be green with spots or black with spots. So they're quite pretty, but quite damaging. And that's the damage there. The uh, early damage may reduce yield. Those soybeans can compensate. So we've run a trial recently, and a lot of cu current cultivars compensated for, for uh, bug loss, for bug damage, for early damage. So there was no yield loss. But it's that later damage if you're growing culinary beans that's an issue because you can't grate it out. Uh, often the eggs can be parasitized. That's a little tiny little wasp emerging from one, one of those, a thing called Trisolcus. In the south and up to at least Billow Wheel of this been a fly established uh, called Trichopoda. It's an exotic one released by Saro and we released it in the Burnett region and the Bundaberg area. It parasitizes the adult. So has anyone seen a veggie bug with little white eggs on the body like that? But in, a, in, in crop it probably doesn't have much of an effect because the bugs will have done a lot of feeding and laid their eggs before they die if they're parasitized with this. The brown bean bugs, very flighting, elongated bugs, uh, large, mostly sort of hind legs, uh, fly away rapidly, can have very distinctive stripes along the side, as damaging as veggie bugs. They're often mistaken for assassin bugs, but an assassin bug is a, a smaller head than the uh, bean bugs, much larger, larger abdomen, uh, and the hind legs aren't nearly as muscly. And don't mess with those things if they, I've seen a, a kid who did and, and the whole tip of their finger went black because they inject uh, enzymes that break down body tissue. That's what they do with a caterpillar, just inject it, the, the caterpillar liquefies and then they just suck it up. The nymphs of the brown bean bugs uh, look like ants, so they're very clever mimics. But if you look closely you'll see the sucking mouth parts there. Red-banded shield bug. We used to think there were two colour forms, but this is a sex issue. That's the female. The female has the pink band and the males miss out. But again, it's really immaterial. They're both red-banded shield bug. The eggs laid in the very distinctive twin rows, and they're, they're dark eggs. But because they're row, laid in twin rows, they're not the eggs of a predatory bug, which lays them in a, they lay them in a, in a bigger raft. And the nymphal stages. And the brown stink bug. So just be aware of the bugs that the young stages can look totally different to the adults. It's important to, to be aware of that. But you do need to be aware of some of the uh, predatory shield bugs. There's a joke with that one. The scientific name of that is Somatulus. The joke is it's the only bug to have received a knighthood. And that's the egg raft of that. So it looks like veggie bug eggs, but you'll see that little eyelashes. For this species, short eyelashes around the perimeter. 